Welcome to this episode of Mentors at Your Benchside, the podcast giving you advice, tips and tools for getting the most out of your research. I'm Thomas Warwick and today I'll be talking to you about how histology slides are prepared. If you're involved in biological research, chances are at some stage you've submitted tissue specimens to a histology lab. Somehow they magically produce beautiful slides for you, each containing thin sections of your specimens ready for microscopic evaluation. Here are the five steps involved. Number one, tissue fixation. Slide preparation begins with the fixation of your tissue specimen. This is a crucial step in tissue preparation and its purpose is to prevent tissue autolysis and putrefaction. For this results, your biological tissue samples should be transferred into a fixative immediately after collection. Although there are many types of fixative, most specimens are fixed in 10% neutral buffered formalin. The optimum formalin to specimen ratio should be about 10 to 1, e.g. 10 ml of formalin per 1 cm cubed tissue. This will allow most tissues to become adequately fixed within 24 to 48 hours. Formalin containers should be capped, leak-proof and labelled correctly. Number 2. Specimen transfer to cassettes. After fixation, specimens are trimmed using a scalpel to enable them to fit into an appropriately labelled tissue cassette. Specimens should not be so big that they fill the cassette. They are trimmed so as not to touch the edges. Additionally, they must not be too thick, ideally less than 4mm, otherwise they risk being waffled when the cassette lid is closed. The field tissue cassettes are then stored in formalin until processing begins. Number 3. Tissue Processing Processing tissues into thin microscopic sections is usually done using a paraffin block. This is done as follows. Dehydration, which involves immersing your specimen in an increasing concentrations of alcohol to remove the water and formalin from the tissue. Clearing, in which an organic solvent such as xylene is used to remove the alcohol and allow infiltration with paraffin wax. Embedding, where the specimens are infiltrated with an embedding agent, usually paraffin wax. The tissue becomes surrounded by a large block of molten paraffin wax, creating what is now referred to as the block. Once the block solidifies, it provides a support matrix that allows very thin sectioning. Number 4. Sectioning the tissue specimen is now ready to be cut into thin sections that can be placed on a slide. First, wax is removed from the surface of the block to expose the tissue. Then, the blocks are chilled and refrigerated on a plate or ice tray for 10 minutes before sectioning. Finally, a microtome is used to slice extremely thin tissue sections off the block to form a ribbon. The microtome can be preset to cut different thicknesses, but most tissues are cut around 4 micrometers. Once cut, the tissue ribbons are carefully transferred to a warm water bath. Here they are allowed to float on the surface and can then be scooped up onto a slide and placed under the water level. Charged slides work best for this process and improve tissue adhesion to the glass and help reduce the chance of sections washing off the slide during staining. Slides should be clearly labelled and then allowed to dry upright at 37 degrees for a few hours to gently melt the excess paraffin wax, leaving the tissue section intact. Number 5. Staining Most cells are transparent and appear almost colourless when unstained. Histochemical stains, typically hematoxylin and eosin, are therefore used to provide contrast to tissue sections, making tissue structures more visible and easier to evaluate under the microscope. Following staining, a cover slip is mounted over the tissue specimen on the slide using optical grade glue. This helps protect the specimen. And that's how histology slides are prepared. Check out the episode description for links to related articles and resources, and don't forget to subscribe to the podcast to get more help and advice from mentors at your bedside.